Well, our first is character and education for 2010. <clears throat> we are learning English because we are going to be English teachers. Great, great. All right, so in my course you have uh, an online component. So we meet once a week and then you have uh, some work to do um, on our course website. When uh, you first started using our website, what kind of reactions did you have? What were your expectations and how did you react at first? Well, it, I suppose that it's quite a um, good observation and a good question to ask because, uh, well, this website, well, it is useful because we meet you only once a week and then in order not to forget everything until the next Monday, we may go to the internet and we may use our website just to I'll make some, I don't know, some creative tasks and to express our opinions here and it's, it's quite a modern technology in education. Mm -hmm. And we read American articles which help us to learn more about American um, culture and uh, conversational formulas, words. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. But actually at first it was a bit surprising because uh, maybe unfortunately in Russia it is not very popular to um, to to give home assignments to work with the internet. So mm -hmm. I was a bit surprised, but it turned out to be okay. So, so um, share with us, uh, with people watching, uh, what do we do on our course website? What kinds of activities <laughs> do we have? Well, um, we can create discussions. Um, on the forum where we discuss the where we discuss our opinions about the whole, the texts we have read. Um, <clears throat> we share our opinions and maybe we come to some conclusion. Yes, and it's not only about tests, it's also about some about psychological tests as it was for today and uh, some listening assignments which is also very good because we can listen to well authentic uh, pronunciation and it's well it's it's great and we submit our essays there it's very um, convenient yes it's more convenient than printing because well not everybody has a printer at home yes. and mm -hmm. yeah that's, that's that's okay okay what other kinds of features does it have that you like like for example do you like being able to see your grades yes yeah. <laughs> i think it's the most <laughs> good really really why yes it's good well for me it's good because of two things the first is that not well other people can't learn about your your grades and if they are not that good or maybe and you don't want others to know if that's that's it, it says only for you it's your private and it's good and the other thing is that you can always control your studies like okay here i have 100 percent, but here i have 80 so i need to work over this again and it's it helps you see the whole picture, so um, yeah. you can expect what uh, what you get in the result in the end. Okay, okay. So that's the point here. Okay, so what is it about our website that that, um, that provides that? Like specifically, like um, assignments that I give on the website or activities that you do on our website. You know, how do they help you? Because mm. oftentimes, you know, you're not you you know you're, you're conversing with each other, not necessarily with me. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that helpful? I think that's <clears throat> very helpful because we uh, we not often communicate with each other in English, and we uh, mm, we can express our opinions and maybe uh, learn something new about our classmates. Okay. Okay. So in general, though, uh, how often do you ladies, and you can speak about your classmates as well, how how much time do you spend on the internet? In 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 a day, are you online a lot? No, I no. would say that I'm not online for a long time because, well, I'm studying and I'm working and that's why I don't have really a lot of time to sit in front of the computer. And, well, when I need to chat with someone, especially with someone who lives abroad and I know that well, he or she wants me to do it, uh, I use, of course, Facebook or something or Skype, I don't know. And, yes, I, I spend, well, maybe in two hours a day or three hours a day, but never more. Actually, to say the truth, for me, uh, it was very difficult in the beginning, uh, and it took me much more, well, much time, uh, because we have never done um, such tasks before, and to answer 
<clears throat> my comment on the first forum it took me for about two hours. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> yes. But then uh, it it's um, it became more easier. Okay, so it was, it was difficult at first to complete the assignments just because they were different. Yes. Yeah. Um, Olga, do you spend like a lot of time online? Period. You know, like checking email, going to websites, listening to music, that kind of thing. Yes, I'm very dependent on yeah. internet, so I spend a lot of time. And Ksenia? Well, actually, I don't have an opportunity to spend a lot of time on the internet just because uh, I live in the dormitory and mm -hmm. I don't have internet there, and so I just can't spend so much time as I want. But uh, actually, it's about one or two hours a day, I guess. Okay. okay. Um, how much time do you spend? So I know we're in class uh, for two academic hours a week. How much time do you spend uh, working on assignments and activities on our course website in a week, on average? Well, it depends on the type of the assignment. For example, if you give some listening assignment or some well, quite a large article, it uh, requires some time to read it through or to listen to this assignment if it's listening. Uh, so maybe it takes me about um, about an hour, an hour and a half, uh, and then to formulate my thoughts and my opinions and type. Well, type I, I type quite quickly, but well, it's an hour and a half I think. And if it's some test as it was uh, for today. Um, well, maybe 40 minutes. Okay. How about you, ladies? Well, actually, yes, it depends on the type of the task. Uh, well, for me, maybe uh, about an hour to, if it is a listening activity, then uh, for vocabulary work, I spend a lot of time because um, I want to get precise meanings of the words. Well, I want to learn as much as possible. Uh, and then, yes, formulating my thoughts and typing them, maybe more, uh, one more hour for, for this. Okay, okay. Now, speaking honestly, I mean, if there's uh, is anything that you dislike about um, my course or our course website, what is it? I like it. Is it not too much work? No. No? no? Um. Do you do more work in my class than in other classes? Yes, actually, that's true. We do more work, <laughs> more work in your class, but uh, that's interesting. Maybe because uh, it, uh, it taking, it's taking more time because of listening. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes. uh, we. You mean the listening tasks? <laughs> yes, but we do it more. Mm. More willingly. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, maybe it doesn't take too much time um, because for example we have the text analysis or how it is called analytical reading and uh, uh, here for, for well for this analytical reading we need really to spend lots of time because we need to carefully pick out all the words and to find their exact meanings and then to write really huge essays about this text and about well the characters but in your classes uh, well we don't do it we just well I treat it like well like for me for my self development for fun I don't know and then that's why I, maybe I just don't notice how the time goes. Mm -hmm. And here we really can uh, express our own opinions. Yes. Which, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's really interesting. Do you think that being able to express your opinion in class and on our course website, that that helps to improve your language skills? Yes. <laughs> yeah? In what way? Mm. I know you know, haven't had a chance really to think about this question, but you know, how would you think that, and I agree with you, Maybe, that being able to do it. Maybe Ksenia said that uh, sometimes we need just to quote, so and what does it mean to quote? It's only to repeat somebody's other words, but here we need to think about our own words and about uh, the way how we ourselves are going to uh, express ourselves. Well, that's, that's the thing. Okay. What we write uh, on, on the website, we can, uh, we can speak in, with the real person. Yes, mm -hmm. it's like with the person we know and we know well, yes. It's just like conversation. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to add? Well, maybe that um, we would like that all Russian teachers try to use such, uh, such technologies to make our classes more interesting. Maybe you advise them. <laughs>